guys, just got set up in the stand. It is October 16th. I'm down here in the in the marsh unit. <clears throat> I got up really early today, about 4, 4 a.m. Didn't matter anyway. I don't know why, but I was so excited that I, I literally couldn't sleep. It was kind of ridiculous, but super excited to be out here. I think I have a really good plan for this morning. I went and parked on this, uh, on the hardwoods by this marsh unit. And I came all the way around where I thought the deer were. I think they're either feeding in the ag fields up to my north here, or in the hardwoods up to my north here. That's kind of a, it's a really good feeding area for this time of year with, with the beans being dried, with the beans drying right now, and a bunch of acorns up in those hardwood ridges. There's a lot of oaks in there, it's just loaded with acorns. So, I think, they should be feeding up there right now. And I'm pretty sure I was able to get around all of them without spooking anything. I came down here into the actual marsh. Um, the hardwoods are only about maybe 100 yards to my right here. But it creates a nice funnel right in this little, it creates a nice pinch here where there's a lot of bedding all throughout here. Um, where this little oxbow lake comes together. Usually it's full of water. It's, it's actually pretty dry right now. There's an oxbow lake that comes together here, and then another one that comes together right over to my right. And there's a really uh, thick area of the marsh right here. It's really a thick strip, and I think they bed all the way along it. On the way in here, I ran into a ton of fresh buck sign. So I'm pretty excited after uh, seeing all that, and that was only with a headlamp. So it's also my first time using my climbing tree stand. I'm using the X stand sit and climb. And surprisingly, it went really well. Uh, I got set up before first light. I need to leave even even more time to get set up so I can get not feel quite as rushed. But I was able to get set up before first light, and I don't think I spooked anything. I found a nice tree about, oh, I don't know, maybe 25 yards from the main trail that, that these deer walk along this funnel and, and in this bedding so I'm set up really comfortable and it should be an awesome morning sit it is super pretty out it's only 30 some degrees out just a perfect morning to be out in the woods it's, it's awesome to be out here we had a weather front move in um, yesterday it went from 70 degrees to uh, 50 was the high yesterday I think and it got down to into the mid 30s tonight it's still really cold this morning so i'm expecting some good deer movement i'm hoping they're still out feeding right now and i'm hoping that they come make their way through this pinch point here and, and into this bedding so we'll see how the morning unfolds but sure it's good to be out here
What an absolutely incredible morning. I still have a bunch of deer around me. But as soon as these ones get out of eyesight, I think I need to climb down. I have to go back to college, so it has to be somewhat of a short sit. It's about 8, 8.30 right now. And I'm a long ways back in here. There's still one at like 35 yards. I got a long pack out. That was an incredible morning. Basically, as soon as I got done with that first interview, I looked up, saw a couple does crossing this little waterway out in front of me here. And I was like, all right, we're sitting pretty good. And then right to my left, I heard something, and there was a coyote messing around. I saw him meet a couple mice. That was really cool. I probably would have probably shot him if he would have come in. I was trying to, trying to squeak with my mouth, and him come over here but he wasn't really interested the only shot I would have had at him was about 45 yards and with a bow and with him moving around so much it just wasn't going to happen so he ended up going that way and then all of a sudden this just a pile of deer starts coming down this funnel and the first group was like 20 yards before I knew it and she ended up, I think she went to the base of the tree that I ri originally tried to set up at. Um, I, Cause this wasn't my first pick of tree locations. I thought this was a little bit too far back in here. It ended up working out perfectly, but I tried another one first and it was just a little too big. So I was messing around over there, leaving a bunch of ground scent. And I think that, that first group of does, there was one mature one, big bodied one probably a smart deer uh, she was a, she smelled me I think smelled my ground scent and got a little nervous so she ended up taking off once and they sent the whole herd of them uh, bounding just a little ways they didn't know what happened and they weren't really sure uh, why the one was spooked so they all ended up coming back and I guess I had good enough scent control. I, I did a lot of walking around in this area, all the way around the base of this tree. I came from the direction they came because I had to. So, you know, I must have had pretty good scent control. Thank you, Remington Scent Control. I don't think you can ever truly eliminate all your scent, like 100%. But. If you have good scent control practices, you can certainly eliminate most of it. And that was enough to fool these deer this morning. I had over 20 deer within 30 yards of me this morning for about half the time. And, and there's been deer all the way around me and none of them I have actually spooked. So I don't think you can ever eliminate your scent, like 100% uh, fully eliminate it. But you can definitely cut it down enough to where maybe it makes it seem like you were there in previous days and you're not there anymore or maybe they just don't get a good good enough whiff of you to really figure out what you are so definitely worked out this morning that was really intense and really fun to have that many deer that close i've never experienced something like that in my life so that was really cool there's only one buck in that whole mix. I've probably seen, I've seen over 30 deer this morning, which is incredible. There's only one buck in all the deer, and it was a, just a little spike. It reminds me, there were so many deer in here, they were getting kind of cranky with each other. The does were doing this thing where they almost were doing like buck grunts. It was really cool never seen that before either finally they all moved off and I'm sure they're all bedded with an earshot so if I can get out of here without spooking them that would be that would be pretty lucky the good news is I think I do have a plan to where I might be able to pull it off if I slowly get down this tree pack up quietly 
should be able to slip into that waterway and get kind of down low and walk it out. I'm going to walk it to a trail camera that I have in this corner of this ag field up here. And then I'll have to head back for the night. I'm just going to exchange the card and check it later, so it shouldn't take too long, but... What an incredible morning. The only thing that could have possibly made it any better was a big buck. But that had just made made an end to my season, so it works for me. What a great morning. That deer kind of worked off now, so it's probably time to call it. I'm going to get down now and try to work out of here. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe to see future content. Thanks.